Saturated fat isn't bad, but bacon is still unhealthy. A few decades ago, saturated fat was found to cause heart disease. This conclusion was based on a flawed study and data manipulation. Because of the resulting hysteria, partially hydrogenated oil spreads like Crisco and margarine were developed and marketed as a healthy alternative to saturated fat. Partially hydrogenated vegetable oils contain trans fat as a byproduct of the hydrogenation process, which is a really unhealthy fat. We now know that there's nothing wrong with consuming moderate amounts of saturated fat. The thing you have to be aware of, though, is what other oils are in the saturated fat containing foods. For example, a fatty cut of meat has other fats besides saturated fats, fats that might still be unhealthy. What I'm talking about is the amount of omega-6 fatty acids in the omega-6 omega-3 ratio. One omega-6 fatty acid, linoleic acid, is essential, meaning we can't produce it ourselves and we need it in our diet. Unfortunately, the body will metabolize this acid into arachidonic acid, which is inflammatory. Due to the prevalence of high omega-6 containing oils in foods, most Westerners have a very high omega-6 to omega-3 ratio. A healthy ratio is less than 4 to 1, but most of us have ratios of over 10 to 1, even as high as 30 to 1. When the thing is, when you're eating omega-3s, they counteract the, the inflammatory effects of arachidonic acid. This inflammation causes an elevation of cholesterol, which is a repair molecule in our body. Bacon has saturated fat, but also has a very, very high omega-6 to omega-3 ratio. According to the study that's in the description below, commercially raised pigs contain between 13 and 18 percent polyunsaturated fatty acids. The entire amount of these polyunsaturated fatty acids are as omega-6 fatty acids. Commercially raised pigs have virtually zero omega-3 fatty acids. This means bacon will raise the inflammation levels in the body. This isn't good. On the contrary, and probably to your delight, is that wild boar has an omega-6 to omega-3 ratio of 3 to 1, which is a reasonable ratio. Knowing this, the likelihood of free-range pigs having a favorable ratio is going to be good, although I don't have the data on this. Conventionally fed beef also has a high omega-6 to omega-3 ratio. Grain-fed beef has like 7 to 1, a little higher than 7 to 1. But grass-fed beef has a 1.57 to 1 ratio, which is great. And the butter from grass-fed cows has a 1 to 1 ratio, making it healthy to eat and giving it the same lipid profile as fish. So the big takeaway from this video is know your diet's diet. If the animals you're eating were fed their natural diet, the, the diet that they would eat you know, out in the wild, chances are their lipid profile is going to be good. If you like this video, I urge you to watch my comprehensive video on fats. There'll be a link to it after this video. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.